While you can use the DigitalOcean dashboard to manage your infrastructure, another popular way developers often utilize the platform is via the DigitalOcean API. The DigitalOcean API allows you to programmatically manage your DigitalOcean resources. Everything you can do in the dashboard, you can do via the API, and there are some features that can only be accomplished via the API. To make use of the DigitalOcean API, you'll first need to create a personal access token. To do that, navigate to the API section in the DigitalOcean dashboard, and under the Personal Access Token section, click the Generate New Token button. From here, give your token a name, set an expiration time, and give the token the right permissions. If you want to be able to make changes via the API, you'll need to enable the right scope, otherwise you'll only be able to get information about your infrastructure. When your token is created, you'll be shown the API key. Copy this, but keep it safe. With this token, you can now access the DigitalOcean API. If your token is stolen, leaked, or you lose it, you can always regenerate it and get a new one. This will also revoke the currently active token. So we'll regenerate and copy. With the token saved and ready, you can now programmatically access your DigitalOcean account. You can do it via curl, a DigitalOcean API library for a specific language like Go, or in my case, I'll just use uh, Postman to make HTTPS requests and the endpoint URL for accessing uh, the DigitalOcean API is https api.digitalocean.com forward slash v2 as we are on the version 2 of the API. In Postman, we'll need to provide the API endpoint that we want to hit and we'll have to add our API key. The scheme that DigitalOcean API implements is bearer tokens, so all we'll need to do in the authorization section is select bearer token and paste in our token. Postman doesn't require the bearer keyword as it adds it automatically and we can check it here in the headers that it is bearer and then the value of our token. Now we can interact with our DigitalOcean account programmatically. The API docs will give us information on which endpoints to hit and what data we'll need to pass along. Let's get our account information. We can do this by hitting the account endpoint with a get request. So we'll go into Postman and hit account. We are doing a get request, so we'll hit send. And now we can see our account information, the email I used to sign up with, my UUID, and my account is active. Likewise, if I wanted to get the droplet information to see which droplets I have enabled, I can hit the droplets endpoint, again with a get request. So we'll do this. And now I will get an array back of the various droplets that I have enabled. And if we wanted to create a new droplet programmatically, we simply hit the droplets endpoint, but this time with a post request, and we'll have to pass in some additional data in the body of that request. And we're gonna send it as JSON data. And the information that we need to provide is the name of our droplet. So a name that we wanna give the droplet, let's say droplet from API. The region that we wanna deploy this droplet in, we'll say NYC3 the size of our droplet and here we'll do a small with one virtual cpu and one gigabyte of ram and the image that we want and this and in our case it's going to be ubuntu version 2004 x64 so now we have the information for our droplet we're making a post request and we'll hit send and we're going to get information that our droplet is being created, its status is new, and if we navigate to our DigitalOcean dashboard under droplets, we'll see that new droplet being created from our API, and we could click into it and see the status. And that's how you can interact with your DigitalOcean account programmatically using the DigitalOcean API. The API allows you to do anything you can do in the dashboard, as well as 
as well as additional capabilities like enabling certain managed database features and much more. The DigitalOcean API Docs will give you all the information you need on how to interact with and manage your resources, what data to pass along to each endpoint, what responses you should expect, as well as expected errors. Refer to the documentation for more information on how to utilize the DigitalOcean API.